Welcome back to Power Boating in Paradise TV, featuring the Emerald Coast Poker Run from the Florida Pen. This episode is brought to you by the Emerald Coast Convention and Visitors Bureau, representing Destin, Fort Walton Beach, and Okaloosa Island. Special thanks to our 2009 title sponsors, Fast Track Transportation, and the IP Casino from Biloxi, Mississippi. All fundraising proceeds from this event benefit the Emerald Coast Foundation. We are now rejoining our Poker Run teams as they queue up at the entrance to Blue Water Bay Marina in Niceville. The Poker Run Dockside volunteers are always in a festive spirit. And speaking of spirited people, get used to seeing this kind of enthusiasm. It's a common sight. Back at Crab Island, our FPC chopper sizes up a small group of performance cats that are ready for some high-speed fun. With some direction from our chopper, Michael Craig from Oklahoma pushed his throttles forward for some hammer time. We had two helicopters flying our course today, and from our Destin Helicopters R44, the skies were looking a little threatening by the middle of the day as a local storm system moved in. This is common this time of year, but give it an hour or two, the sun will be shining once again. As expected, the rain passed and we were soon flying over the bay waters, tracking down poker run boats from Destin to Fort Walton Beach and westbound towards Navarre. If there's one place you'll see a lot of fountains, it's on this poker run. Here's Brian Cole from Texas in his 42 fountain team poker face. Steve Rogers from Louisiana joins us every year in his classic 38 foot cigarette, Nasty Habit, powered by 900 horse chief engines. Slowing things down for a moment, here's a quick shot at Shalimar Yacht Basin, another one of 10 checkpoints on the run. Participants can visit as many checkpoints as they like, but it's always a good strategy to reach all of them to increase your chances of getting to the final poker table on Saturday night. Here's Rufus Tingle in his Sea Ray Express Cruiser, proving once again Emerald Coast Poker Run welcomes all kinds of boats, giving this event a very unique entry roster. It's family fun for Scott and Monica James from South Carolina, who returned for their second year in their 35-foot fountain, Slippery When Wet. Raymond and Hilda Boudreaux from Louisiana made this their inaugural poker run for the 55-foot Airborne Cat, powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. Tommy Darun attended in his 36 Eliminator, but he didn't let seating for five passengers limit his crew. He said, okay guys, you're all friends. If you wanna go on the poker run, figure it out. Now it's time to stop in at the Boathouse Landing, another poker run checkpoint tucked back in the far corner of Boggy Bayou in Niceville. It's a great restaurant located across the bay from the North Light Yacht Club, which offers dry rack storage for boats. With great restaurants and marinas in almost every corner of this bay area, if you're a boater and you live around here, you've really got it made. Heading west along the Intracoastal Waterway, we had our sights set on finding more power boats along the Poker Run course. There's a small sandy island just a few miles west of the Brooks Bridge that has become the ultimate spectator location for the Poker Run. Even the Hellenbach party boat got a little attention from our chopper crew as Chris Seaman piloted her back to the Hellenbach home port to get ready for the big party. Here's Paul Bertusi in his 43-foot Nortec Beer Money, powered by triple 650 horsepower Nortec engines. By mid-afternoon, there's poker run traffic in both directions along this section of the course, making it quite a challenge for our chopper crews to chase down all the boats. But some of our crews are lucky enough to be in the right place at the right time Here's Team Apre Ski making their way back from Juana's and taking time to express their feelings about, well, we're not quite sure. AJ Phillips knows one speed for his 40-foot skater, no plans. It's called Wide Open Throttle. Most of the time, we can't even catch up to him from the chopper. Here's another fast cat that's hard to keep up with. This is Derek Gilcrest in Cutting Loose, a 40-foot Nortec Roadster powered by big Mercury Racing 1200s that only run on race fuel. This is Dimitri and Ashley Minutis in their 33-foot power play called High Density, one of many teams from Louisiana. 
We're now stopping in at the Hellenbach checkpoint located on Okaloosa Island on the north side of the Brooks Bridge. The card stop volunteers had to be busy since it's located midway between the east and the west end of the poker run course. With plenty of dockage, it's also a great place to tie up and get some lunch. How about some of that Helen Back pizza? Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Emerald Coast Poker Run highlights on Power Boating in Paradise TV.